This is our presentation on EEG and action potentials by Yanis, Katrina and Robin. EEG is a technique used to measure voltage fluctuation in the brain by applying electrodes to the scalp in carefully mapped out positions. They can also be placed directly on or into the brain to assist surgical treatment of neurological conditions. The action potential is the electrical signal that travels down the axon of the nerve cell, transmitting the electrical information of the brain to other cells. This electrical impulse propagates to other cells by crossing a gap called the synapse. The signal occurs by the opening of sodium channels, initiated by a stimulus which leads to the positive sodium ions rushing into the neuron. This produces a net positive charge depolarising the neuron. The slower potassium channels then open, repolarizing the neuron due to the outflux of positive potassium ions. The electrical signal travels across the brain to the scalp and the further the distance travelled, the weaker the signal. Epilepsy is a chronic neurological disorder characterised by a sudden increase of electrical activity in the brain, resulting in seizures. There are varying types of seizures which can take place in certain areas of the brain, known as partial seizure, or both halves of the brain, known as a general seizure. These are associated with different states of consciousness. EEG is the most important diagnostic tool in the evaluation of patients with seizures. Different methods are used to provoke abnormal activity in patients in order to diagnose their specific disorder such as hyperventilation and light stimulation. 90% of the patients with epilepsy have electrical abnormalities in between seizures, known as interictal discharges. The longer the recording of the EEG, the more likely these discharges are to be observed. Sleep is also a factor that increases this likelihood. If the epilepsy cannot be treated with drugs, the defective part of the brain can be located using EEG and then removed through surgery. The electrical activity is represented by waveforms of the change in voltage against time. These results can be affected by state of consciousness and age, and therefore producing different signals. These different signals can be characterised by their frequency, amplitude and shape, and also the position of the scalp at which they were recorded. Shown here are different types of waveform. Beta waves are found in all ages and are the dominant rhythm in adults. And alpha waves are the most commonly found in adults, but can be observed across all ages. However, it disappears with cognitive stimulation, such as mental arithmetic and spelling. Theta waves are found during sleep at any age, but are abnormal if they are found in excess in awake adults. And delta represents deep sleep in both adults and children, and is the dominant rhythm in inf infants up to one year old. Uh, and they are abnormal if found in a wake adult. Patients with epilepsy produce abnormal waves that are chaotic and have characteristic spikes. If the signal recorded by a certain group of electrodes demonstrates epilepsy, then the source of the abnormality can be located. This helps diagnose the type of epilepsy which defines the course of treatment. Thank you for watching our presentation. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> I went wrong, I stumbled at one point. Probably it's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Really? Yeah.